My friend, did you know that uh, video footage of our investigations is highly sought after around the festival? I was not aware so many young people were considering insurance as a career. In any case, we have a new claim and a new test vehicle, perfect for scouting our new test location. Please enjoy the scenery as well as the performance. Turn around when it is safe to do so. In 100 meters, turn sharp left. In 200 meters, turn sharp right. In 100 meters, turn sharp left. Turn right. Notice the improved acceleration as we pass the dam. A little of my handiwork. The acceleration, not the dam. In 200 meters, turn left. The vehicle is performing well, yes? Good. You should be approaching the quarry now. So, what do you think? A suitable location for a machine as rugged as this, yes? Now, allow me to explain. Our claimant has explored this very quarry in a Willis MB, similar to ours, though they have expressed dissatisfaction with their performance upgrades. Through a combination of my work and your skill, we will now set about, very politely, proving them wrong. May I suggest a more aggressive approach to navigation? You see the setnav? Please ignore this. Turn around when it is safe to do so. In 200 meters, turn left. Recalculating route. I will make it known to the client that the Willis MB is more than adequate to their purposes of vertical movement and visceral excitement. Hello, good day. Uh, how are you? Now that we have enjoyed the small talk, we may proceed to the next case, involving an acceleration test in normal traffic conditions. Now, this is a 1966 Volkswagen Beetle, into which I have placed a 2.5-liter F4 turbo engine. Partly to replicate the conditions of the claim, but also because I would very much like to see what happens. Careful with this vehicle, I may have overdone it. Actually, you know, the claim concerns a driver very much overdoing it, so by all means, uh, how is it you say, put the foot down. Closed, though I must say, I like this claimant. All those years working in Germany, never once did I think to do this to a Volkswagen.
Our next claimant extensively modified a 1955 Chevy 150 utility sedan with a view to turning it into a rally car. This is not so far beyond the realms of possibility. The vehicle is heavy, yes, but with all-wheel drive and rally-tuned springs and dampers, it could be done. The claimant's attempt resulted, of course, in complete failure, but I am confident that ours will not. Turn around when it is safe to do so. In 100 meters, turn sharp left. In 200 meters, turn sharp right. In 100 meters, turn sharp left. you will arrive at your destination. All in all, a highly adequate rally car. And we should not discount the psychological effect upon the competition of being overtaken by a collector's item. Ah, greetings once again. So, we have our modified Chevy 150. Now we must test the claim that it will make a competitive rally car. I am confident in the vehicle's performance, and I have observed enough of your experimental driving technique to be confident in you also. Ah, now, you will need a co-driver, of course. This will be me. Steady incline, four-wheel drive, hold the rear end tight, that did not sound as it should. You see how those wide tires and reduced weight handle the corners? The claimant failed to grasp this. Rough ground. Trust the improved suspension. a big Chevrolet engine. This the claimant grasped a little too well, I think. Yeah, yeah, most satisfactory. Yourself and the car. The claimant will be pleased to know we have succeeded where they catastrophically failed. Or perhaps they will not. Have you noticed an upward trend in peculiar insurance cases since we began our work? I have noticed this. Is it possible we are, how would you say, a bad influence? And here is one such case. The claimant wishes to establish the absolute maximum capabilities and tolerances of the Myers Manx June buggy. Ah well, if test the June buggy we must, then test the June buggy we will. Turn left. make a prime testing location. I think also away from prying eyes. I knew insurance would be difficult. I did not know it would be so popular.
Now, the Manx here has been outfitted with the latest accelerometers, lateral G-force meters and impact sensors. I will be using the data to uh, build a detailed telemetric profile. All I require from you is that you drive like you have no concern for your own safety. Please accept as a token of my esteem that I think this will not be so difficult a task for you. successfully established the tolerances of the Myers Manx. To what end, I'm not sure. We have received no claims of damage to dune buggies, except perhaps our own. Huh, I'm afraid this case represents our last together as colleagues and work-related social companions. For the moment, as long as there is insurance, my friends, there will be bizarre insurance claims. For example, this claimant placed a 2.6-liter rotary engine inside a production Mazda Meata MX-5. As you are aware, this type of engine is more common in high-performance propeller-driven aircraft. If you would please take it and ascertain just how badly this can go wrong. The first phase of testing will be along standard country roads with mild undulations next to the coast. So, the data is adequate but incomplete. Please do not concern yourself with the howling noise, this is quite normal. Endeavor to gather more information, please. Good, now for the urban testing phase. You will please take into account traffic and various asphalt conditions. Please avoid collisions with urban vehicles. Excellent. Now we begin the highway testing phase. Please exceed 200 miles an hour along this section for optimum data gathering. Ah, well done. But I feel we would gain further illumination with further acceleration. Do you not think so?
interesting. My calculations suggest a performance of this kind should result in total spontaneous engine disassembly. And yet, here you are! Well, I must say, whether the claim was proved or disproved, it was a great deal of fun, and I have you to think. I know you are busy at the festival, I'm sure I will see more of you. But if you should ever leave, I hope you will consider a career in insurance. Hans says you're completely adequate to his purposes, which is about the greatest compliment I've ever heard him give. I'll call if he needs you again. Hans might not show it, but he's grateful. Really, he loves setting up test conditions, but he hates driving. <laughs>